Hey, what's up, Tech Guild fam? Today we're going to talk about something that might blow your mind. Literally. What if I told you that the next world war could be fought with robots, drones, hackers, and even brain-computer interfaces? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not anymore. Technology is advancing at an incredible pace, and it's changing the way we live, work, and play. But it's also changing the way we fight. And not in a good way. In this video, we're going to explore the shocking ways technology will fuel future world wars. We'll look at how different technologies are being developed to deploy new weapons and strategies that could give the countries which possess them an edge in a global conflict. This is a topic that you don't want to miss, because it could affect all of us in the near future. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. Are you ready to dive into the dark side of technology? Let's go! Technology has always played a role in warfare. From the invention of the bow and arrow to the development of the atomic bomb, humans have used technology to gain an advantage over their enemies. But in the modern era, technology has taken warfare to a whole new level. Technology has made warfare more efficient, precise, and lethal. It has also made warfare more complex, unpredictable, and dangerous. Technology has enabled new ways of fighting, such as cyber attacks, drones, and artificial intelligence. Technology has also created new challenges and dilemmas, such as ethical issues, legal questions, and humanitarian concerns. Let's take a look at some of the ways technology has transformed warfare in the 21st century. One of the most obvious ways technology has changed warfare is by increasing the range and accuracy of weapons. Modern weapons can strike targets from thousands of miles away, using satellites, GPS, and lasers to guide them. For example, ballistic missiles can deliver nuclear warheads across continents in minutes. Cruise missiles can fly low and evade radar detection. Smart bombs can hit specific buildings or vehicles with minimal collateral damage. Technology has also changed the way soldiers fight on the ground. Soldiers can use advanced equipment and gadgets to enhance their capabilities and survival. For example, night vision goggles can help them see in the dark. Body armor can protect them from bullets and shrapnel. Helmet cameras can record and transmit what they see. Exoskeletons can increase their strength and endurance. Technology has also enabled new forms of warfare that do not involve physical violence. Cyber warfare is the use of computer networks to attack or defend information systems. Cyber attacks can disrupt or destroy critical infrastructure, such as power grids, communication networks, or banking systems. Cyber attacks can also steal or manipulate data, such as personal information, military secrets, or election results. Another form of warfare that relies on technology is drone warfare. Drones are unmanned aerial vehicles that can be controlled remotely or autonomously. Drones can perform various tasks, such as reconnaissance, surveillance, targeting, or bombing. Drones can reduce the risk of casualties for the operators, but they can also raise ethical and legal issues about accountability and proportionality. Technology has also enabled the use of artificial intelligence in warfare. Artificial intelligence is the ability of machines to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as learning, reasoning, or decision-making. Artificial intelligence can be used to analyze data, optimize strategies, or control weapons. Artificial intelligence can also create new threats, such as autonomous weapons that can select and engage targets without human intervention. These are just some of the examples of how technology has changed warfare in the modern world. Technology has given us new tools and opportunities to fight our enemies, but it has also created new risks and challenges that we need to address. We've seen how technology has transformed warfare in the past and present. But what about the future? How will technology shape the way we fight and defend ourselves in the coming years and decades? Technology is likely to have a huge impact on future warfare. Technology will enable new capabilities, create new vulnerabilities, and challenge existing norms and rules. Technology will also affect the balance of power and influence among different countries and actors. Let's take a look at some of the emerging technologies that could be game-changers in future warfare. 
One of the most promising and potentially disruptive technologies is quantum computing. Quantum computing is the use of quantum physics to perform calculations that are impossible or extremely difficult for conventional computers. Quantum computers could revolutionize many fields, such as cryptography, artificial intelligence, or biotechnology. Quantum computing could also have a major impact on warfare. Quantum computers could break existing encryption systems, making communication and data security more difficult. Quantum computers could also enhance artificial intelligence, making it more powerful and autonomous. Quantum computers could also enable new types of weapons, such as quantum sensors, quantum radars, or quantum lasers. Another technology that could change the face of warfare is biotechnology. Biotechnology is the use of living organisms or their components to create or modify products or processes. Biotechnology has many applications, such as medicine, agriculture, or energy. Biotechnology could also have a significant impact on warfare. Biotechnology could improve human performance, such as health, cognition, or resilience. Biotechnology could also create new types of weapons, such as biological agents, genetic engineering, or synthetic biology. A third technology that could alter the nature of warfare is nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is the manipulation of matter at the atomic or molecular scale. Nanotechnology has many potential uses, such as electronics, materials, or medicine. Nanotechnology could also have a profound impact on warfare. Nanotechnology could enhance existing weapons, such as making them smaller, lighter, or smarter. Nanotechnology could also create new types of weapons, such as nanobots, nanos, worms, or nano weapons. These are just some of the technologies that could shape future warfare. There are many others, such as hypersonic weapons, space weapons, or cyber weapons. These technologies could have significant geopolitical implications. They could affect the distribution of power and influence among different countries and actors. They could create new opportunities for cooperation or competition. They could also pose new threats and challenges for security and stability. Imagine a scenario where a hacker group launches a massive cyber attack on a country's power grid, causing a nationwide blackout. The hacker group then demands a ransom to restore the power, or threatens to cause more damage. The country's government is faced with a dilemma. Pay the ransom and risk encouraging more attacks, or refuse to pay and risk losing control of the situation. This is an example of cyber warfare. Cyber warfare is the use of computer networks to attack or defend information systems. Cyber warfare can target various sectors, such as military, government, industry, or civilian. Cyber warfare can have various objectives, such as espionage, sabotage, propaganda, or coercion. Cyber warfare can have serious consequences for the security and stability of a country and its people. A large-scale cyber attack can disrupt or destroy critical infrastructure, such as power grids, communication networks, or transportation systems. A large-scale cyber attack can also compromise or manipulate data, such as personal information, military secrets, or election results. A large-scale cyber attack can also cause psychological and economic damage, such as fear, panic, or loss of trust. Cyber warfare is not a hypothetical threat. It is a reality that we face every day. There have been many cyber attacks in recent years that have caused significant harm and damage. Here are some examples. 1. In 2010, a computer worm called Stuxnet infected and damaged Iran's nuclear facilities. The worm was allegedly developed by the US and Israel to sabotage Iran's nuclear program. 2. In 2013, a hacker group called Anonymous launched a series of cyber attacks on North Korea's websites and social media accounts. The attacks were in response to North Korea's nuclear tests and human rights violations. In 2014, a hacker group called Guardians of Peace hacked Sony Pictures Entertainment and leaked confidential data and emails. The hackers also threatened to launch terrorist attacks on movie theaters that showed the interview, a comedy film that mocked North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. The US government blamed North Korea for the attack. In 2015, 
A hacker group called Cyber Burkett claimed responsibility for hacking and disrupting Ukraine's power grid, leaving hundreds of thousands of people without electricity. The hackers also attacked Ukraine's media outlets and government websites. The attack was suspected to be linked to Russia's involvement in the Ukraine conflict. In 2016, a hacker group called Fancy Bear hacked and leaked emails and documents from the Democratic National Committee and the Hillary Clinton campaign. The hackers also attempted to interfere with the U.S. presidential election by spreading fake news and propaganda. The U.S. intelligence community accused Russia of orchestrating the attack. 6. In 2017, a ransomware virus called WannaCry infected and encrypted millions of computers around the world, demanding payment in Bitcoin to unlock them. The virus affected various sectors, such as health care, education, or transportation. The virus was believed to be based on a hacking tool stolen from the U.S. National Security Agency. In 2020, a hacker group called SolarWinds breached several U.S. government agencies and private companies by inserting malicious code into a software update. The hackers gained access to sensitive data and systems for months before being detected. The attack was attributed to Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service. These are just some of the examples of cyber warfare that have occurred in recent years. There are many more that have gone unnoticed or unreported. Cyber warfare is a silent killer that can strike anytime and anywhere. Have you ever watched a movie where robots fight humans in a war? Well, that might not be just fiction anymore. In fact, it might be closer to reality than you think. Autonomous weapons are weapons that can select and engage targets without human intervention. They are also known as lethal autonomous weapon systems or killer robots. They use artificial intelligence to analyze data, optimize strategies, and control actions. Autonomous weapons are not new. They have been used for decades in various forms, such as landmines, cruise missiles, or drones. However, the level of autonomy and sophistication of these weapons has increased significantly in recent years, thanks to advances in technology. Autonomous weapons have many advantages over human-operated weapons. They can operate faster, more accurately, and more efficiently. They can also reduce the risk of casualties for the operators and the civilians. They can also overcome human limitations, such as fatigue, fear, or bias. However, autonomous weapons also raise many ethical and moral questions. For example, 1. Who is responsible for the actions and consequences of autonomous weapons? Is it the developer, the manufacturer, the user, or the weapon itself? 2. How can we ensure that autonomous weapons comply with the laws of war and human rights? How can we prevent them from causing unnecessary harm or suffering? 3. How can we ensure that autonomous weapons are reliable and secure? How can we prevent them from malfunctioning, being hacked, or being used by terrorists or rogue states? 4. How can we ensure that autonomous weapons are compatible with human dignity and values? How can we prevent them from dehumanizing war or undermining human agency? These are some of the ethical and moral dilemmas that autonomous weapons pose. Many experts and activists have called for a ban or regulation of autonomous weapons to prevent them from causing harm or chaos. Autonomous weapons also pose many potential risks for the future of warfare and peace. For example, 1. Autonomous weapons could lower the threshold for war by making it easier and cheaper to launch attacks without risking human lives. 2. Autonomous weapons could escalate conflicts by increasing the speed, intensity, and unpredictability of warfare. 3. Autonomous weapons could create new asymmetries and instabilities by giving some countries or actors an unfair advantage or disadvantage in warfare. 4. Autonomous weapons could undermine human control and oversight by making decisions that humans cannot understand or override. These are some of the potential risks that autonomous weapons pose. Many experts and analysts have warned that autonomous weapons could increase the likelihood and severity of war and violence. Autonomous weapons are a reality that we cannot ignore. They are already being developed and deployed by various countries and actors around the world.
They have the potential to change the nature and outcome of warfare and peace. Wow, that was a lot to take in. We've learned so much about the shocking ways technology will fuel future world wars. Let's recap what we've covered in this video. We've seen how technology has already transformed warfare by increasing the range, accuracy, and lethality of weapons, by enhancing the capabilities and survival of soldiers, and by enabling new forms of warfare, such as cyber attacks, drones, and artificial intelligence. We've also seen how technology is likely to shape future warfare by enabling new capabilities, creating new vulnerabilities, and challenging existing norms and rules. We've also seen how technology will affect the balance of power and influence among different countries and actors. We've also explored some of the emerging technologies that could be game-changers in future warfare, such as quantum computing, biotechnology, nanotechnology, hypersonic weapons, space weapons, and cyber weapons. We've also discussed some of the ethical and moral implications of using technology in warfare, such as responsibility, accountability, proportionality, reliability, security, compatibility, dignity, and values. We've also highlighted some of the potential risks of using technology in warfare, such as lowering the threshold for war, escalating conflicts, creating asymmetries and instabilities, and undermining human control and oversight. Technology is a double-edged sword. It can be used for good or evil. It can be used to create peace or war. It can be used to save lives or take lives. The choice is ours. How will we use technology in the future? Will we use it wisely or recklessly? Will we use it to cooperate or compete? Will we use it to protect or destroy? These are some of the questions that we need to ask ourselves as we enter a new era of technological warfare. These are some of the questions that will determine the fate of humanity. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our awesome content. Thank you for watching Tech Guild. We'll see you next time.